After moving up in class in 2011, South Plaquemines High School had their first losing season since the school's formation in 2007. So in came Cedric Figaro with a change in attitude, which led to a change in results. Hard work. I mean, that's the first thing. We came in with the, uh, the attitude that we had to put a lot of work in. Uh, this summer, I mean, we worked hard. Uh, the kids were committed to it. Not at first, you know, we're getting, you know, a few here and there, 19 numbers, low numbers, and then the numbers picked up, and, um, and then we started to work from there. But um, just showing up every day and being committed to the program, uh, we, we put it right back on the right track. Last year's season felt slow because we were losing a lot. This year went by fast. I ain't never expected that because we were winning. Figaro brought not only a new attitude, but also a wealth of coaching inspiration. He has played for the likes of Lou Holtz in his stellar career at Notre Dame, then went on to play a seven-year NFL career under the likes of Nick Saban and Bill Belichick. He has brought all of that coaching experience to Port Sulphur. You know, I bring a lot of wealth of knowledge from a lot of the coaches. I was fortunate enough to play under Lou Holtz, also Nick Saban, Bill Belichick. Um, I have a wealth of knowledge of, of, of guys that I've, I've been able, Ron Lynn and those guys, uh, great guys in the NFL. And you take a little bit from each one of those guys and you kind of make it your own, you know. Uh, and I, I had great teachers and that's what I'm trying to do to these young men is just mold them and teach them to be great men. He taught us a lot, a lot of lessons. The hard work you put in is the best. The harder the work, the better your season's gonna pay off. The more work you put in, the more you're gonna be able to do to be successful. Figaro also figures to be in Port Sol for more than one year, which would be longer than his previous three predecessors. And Figaro very much wants to bring stability to South Plaquemines. You no, know, I chose this place because because I think we can bring the stability back here. I know in the last four years there's been four different head coaches, you know, and I'm the fourth and we wanted to add stability to it. Now, what happened before and why those other coaches left, you know, it's far and few between of the answers you'll get, but uh, I'm committed to be here with the kids. While they've had to deal with coaching instability, that's just one of the obstacles here at South Plaquemines. This is an area that's been devastated by two hurricanes, most recently, the devastation from Isaac. And these kids, I mean, I know one kid who totally lost everything and played in a game on a Saturday, you know, a couple weeks later, you know, and had a ball out there. And and just just the love of the game and these kids, just the love for each other. And and, and we moved in with each other. We shared homes, shared food, and, and just bringing that, those kids bringing that to it. I mean, how, how could you not want to be here with them? I mean, the fight is there, the passion is there, and, and we'll be back. Cedric Figaro led a 3-6 and six team to a 7-3 and three finish this season and kept his team together through trying times. And that's why he is this week's NFL and New Orleans Saints High School Coach of the Week. Putting in work. Putting in work. Putting in work. In Port Sulphur, Paul Boron for Outside the Huddle.